hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm going to create a project where I'll show you how to how to work with auto wiring and stuff so in this video tutorial I'll cover auto wiring by name so here is the Eclipse let's go ahead and create a Java project so right click over here new Java project I would give the name Spring Auto Wire by name. Click on the next. Finally, click on the finish. Now, right click on this project, go to the build path, configure build path, select add library, user library next and select this is your library now let's create a xml file so search for xml over here give the file name bins.xml and here this is xml doc type which i have copied from a json project it's okay now let's create a model class so class form dot imported dot model and class name I would give employee this class contains some field like private int employee employee name for private string email that's it only I'm in blue three fields and one more field I'm going to add that is pan card and pan card is a custom data type so we need to create this class as well so let's create pan card class as well same package and this pan card will have few properties string pan holder name and private string corresponding public set or getter methods go to the sets source select generate setters and getters select all click on the ok now in this employee class we have declared these fields just create public setter getter methods of these properties now in configuration file let's configure these bins so we have a first bin we have employee so then I equal to employee class equal to qualified name of your bean class. So copy qualified name and this bean contains some property right. So property name equal to something. Uh, this property contains three. This uh, three value type right so one ID specify some dummy ID something like this then next property we have employee name value we can say Sean Murphy property we have a is called email address value you can specify zone dot m at the rate yahoo dot com and employee class contain one more property but this is a 
kind of custom data type right and that is nothing but the pan card so if you have a custom data type then you cannot specify value attribute right you need to specify ref attribute and ref i'm going to specify pan card so basically this is the id of another bin and that bin you need to configure here as well so bin id equal to pan card again class equal to qualified name of your bin class so copy qualified name and this bin has a two property right so initialize these properties property value so first property we have a pan holder name and second property we have a pan number itself okay so pan holder name we can specify so not for itself and pan number we will specify some dummy pan number or something like this okay press control a to select or control shift f for formatting so we are done with creating here we are basically first we are doing the explicit wiring then after we will go for the auto wiring so right click over here a creator client for the com dot info tag dot client give the client pair client class name as a test select main method click over here <laughs> so here i'm going to create asian context new class path xml application context here we need to pass xml file name and finally we need to close the application context right so we need to type class into abstract application context right between this we can ask for the bin get bin and we can use this api which takes first as the id that is nothing but the employee and second is the employee class itself and this method will return you the employee object now we can print if employee not equal to null then go inside and you can print the employee object status state sorry employee id separate with tab then employee name and employee email address even right now employee has a getter method of pan card as well right so you can get the pan card reference as well and here you can if pan card not equal to null then you can print the pan card as So here as of now we have done explicit query. Let's run this application. And we are able to successfully run the employee information as well as corresponding PAN card information. So if you look into the configuration file, then here basically we have done the explicit wiring for PAN card. So these things you can remove from here and you can go for the XML auto wiring. So I'm going to remove these things 
and I would give here our attribute is called auto wire right auto wire here you'll get if you check then these are the value you can assign so here I'm going to assign by name auto by name if I run the, this application then still we are able to inject pan card so how it, it works so basically when you ask for this pin employee bin then a spring will go to here and here if you have any custom data type like here you have a pan card custom data type while configuring this pin in xml we have given auto wire by name so xml uh, sorry a spring framework will look into this name name of this bin and a spring will try to search a bin in xml with this name so with the same name I have configured this pin so this will automatically wired so this way auto wire by name works so I hope you guys understood how auto wire by name works so in next series of tutorial we'll talk about the auto wire by type and by constructor okay so that's all I have in this video guys if you like my video please like and subscribe it thank you for watching my video and see you in next video session Thank you.